Good morning, this is Larry McMillan with Stock Market Update on Tuesday, January 16th. So the market seems to be stuck here right around 4,800. I uh, had fallen back at the beginning of the year to just a little below 4,700. Now we're back at, well, technically the all-time high is not quite the intraday, intraday high uh, from January 2022. 20, uh, was just a little bit higher than we uh, are right now, but we're certainly in that neighborhood. But the market is meeting resistance here, and uh, of course, we're not going to stay here forever. So it probably is not a bad place to buy some straddles, meaning puts and calls, because uh, I think once the market exits this 4,800 neighborhood, it's going to have a strong move in one direction or the other. On the upside, of course, that would be new all-time high territory, and uh, there are plenty of shorts, I think, right now in the short term, you know, trading shorts that would have to cover in that case. On the other hand, if we fell back below uh, last week's lows, then we would probably test 4,600 pretty quickly. And as we've been saying, any, anything below 4,550 would be well, essentially a new bear market. That would be a problem. Uh, equity only put call ratios remain on sell signals. So we do have some negative indicators, uh, at this time. Also, the McMillan volatility band, uh, sell signal is still in effect. And breadth is also on sell signal. So that's the bad news. The good news is just about everything else is still positive, including the entire volatility complex. Um, the, uh, Number of new highs on the New York Stock Exchange was over 100 again on Friday. And so that's, that indicator remains positive. Uh, VIX is low. So while well, VIX is low, it just means it's overbought. That's not yet a problem for stocks. The problem would be if VIX were to rise above its 200-day moving average, which is right now about 15.6. Uh, so as long as it stays below there, stocks can advance. And the uh, same thing goes for the uh, construct of volatility derivatives, the futures, um, a term structure. Uh, the only other negative right, uh, right now, and that's a very tentative one, is realized volatility, uh, which had risen. And so when realized volatility is rising that, from a low level, that's a negative thing. But now it's starting to fall back again. So uh, that indicator, that sell signal might be stopped out pretty soon. So the indicators are mixed, the market stalled. Uh, I don't expect this to last for too long. But as I said, uh, buying straddles might not be uh, the worst idea here at this point in time. Uh, I invite you to visit our website, take a look at our new website, and also take a look at some of the specials we're offering on our daily letters and uh, things like that. And meanwhile, have a great week trading.